Hello my friends and welcome to the mayhem. Uh, today I'm flipping my wardrobe from uh, let's say colder months so from winter to spring slash a little bit to summer and I thought that it might be an interesting idea to film it again because um, I really enjoyed it last time when I was flipping it to winter and I think it actually gives me a lot of perspective on uh, the things that I own and the things that I want to wear and the things that are kind of like in my style or not in my style etc. So you're very welcome to join me. Uh, I actually already started a little bit. As you can see there is a pile of clothes on the uh, bed behind me. I already hid all of my uh, knitwear, like not all of it, but I already hid all of my warm sweaters. Um, some part of the cardigans. Uh, I also hid my all of my outerwear that is for very cold months. So all of my coats and my parka and also the warmer scarves, uh, hats, gloves, all this stuff. I also looked through the um, suitcase that normally hosts all of my off-season clothes and I took out the pieces that I really want to uh, be wearing right now. Not all of them because there is still a huge packing cube if you remember from the last video. That whole packing cube of dresses that are like for real summer weather I still didn't touch it and um, like I didn't really touch all of the really summer things. I took out a few shirts that are kind of like lighter linen but like longer sleeves. Uh, I took out a few blazers, a um, few pairs of jeans that are kind of like more for in between seasons. I will walk you through everything uh, because this pile that you see on the bed, I took everything out of my uh, wardrobe over there and I'm going to be putting things that I didn't hide before. I'm going to be putting them in the wardrobe and walking you through the process and also the things that I just took out from the suitcase same thing. They look a little bit sad because they were folded in the suitcase for the whole winter. So please bear with me, I will steam them or iron them a little bit later. But for now the idea is to just flip my wardrobe and have more options for this warmer weather. This is my wardrobe. As you can see I have uh, two straw bags on top. One of them has my uh, other straw bag and a straw hat for summer. Uh, this is the Muji bag. Um, that I use for traveling. It has uh, two of my backpacks inside that I mostly use for traveling or for taking my, I don't know, my laptop to work. Uh, behind there I also have one more, one other bag. Uh, I was thinking about making um, a video also about all the bags that I own. I think I'm going to save all these explanations for then. Uh, then I have this uh, sad looking bag. I need to take it also out and look through it. Uh, it mostly has my uh, packing cubes and one swimming suit that I don't hide even for winter because uh, for traveling and spas and things like that. Uh, let me take it out. Then there is this bottom part. As you can see there is this part of uh, travel um, kind of like containers for makeup and stuff. I need to look into it and organize it. Here I have, <laughs> there are some significant holes in the scarf department. Uh, I took out all of the scarves that are kind of heavier and I just kept these ones for now. They're like about four, I think. Uh, in these drawers I have uh, my underwears and socks, uh, bras and uh, t-shirts and workout wear and uh, pajamas. I have a few bags here. Over here I have one more bag and also there were uh, like hats and gloves and things. And behind there, there is this part is mostly for uh, technical equipment. So normally I keep my tripod there and everything. So now it's all clean and uh, it's my blank canvas to create my spring slash early summer wardrobe. Okay, so this is what we're dealing with. I hope you can see me well. If I'm, I'm going to be standing right here and I'm going to look through all of this pile and reorganize everything that I have. Behind me, you can see this basket. It's full of my like loungewear and, um, yeah, mostly loungewear, so I just took it out from my wardrobe and put it aside. For now it doesn't need decluttering. Okay, let's start. Uh, first I have this uh, blazer that you already saw before. It's kind of like this waterfall blazer from Zara. I uh, really like it, now it's the time to wear it. And normally this is the piece that I also keep in my wardrobe through all the summer because I use it for traveling. It's very nice with a pair of jeans and sneakers and just you can wear a t-shirt and this on top if you're getting a little bit cold on the plane. So this is definitely going into the wardrobe. And there is my jean jacket, again, same story. Now it's exactly the time to wear it and I'm very happy to be wearing it again. And I need to really reevaluate my uh, pin situation. There is a video about why I have so many pins on my uh, jacket.
Then I have my trench. Uh, I spoke about it in my video on all of the outerwear that I own. For now, I'm going to keep it in my wardrobe because uh, first of all, I really want to give it to dry cleaners before storing it for the summer. And the second is that uh, actually it became warmer, but today, for example, today it's raining. So I would prefer to have a little bit, like something a little bit longer in order to, to wear on days like this. My faux leather jacket, my rain jacket, both are going back into the wardrobe. Now we arrive to the part of the cardigans. Uh, this one is very light. So I kind of consider it to be like lighter knit. I'm also normally keeping it in my wardrobe through the summer because uh, here summer is very hot. Like don't get me wrong, like you cannot really wear knitwear in summer in Sicily. But like once in a while, maybe like once every, I don't even know how many months, you have one day when it's a little bit chillier. And this is when I'm actually wearing this cardigan. I kept both of these uh, gray cardigans just because right now I'm working from home and uh, like like all of us <laughs> so i'm kind of like sometimes during the day i'm getting a little bit chillier because i open the window or something so i prefer to keep them outside for now and use them when i need them then i also kept these two lighter color cardigans uh, because i would prefer to wear them right now as a like kind of instead of outerwear maybe on the evening or something. This one is heavier knit, this one is very light open knit and I'm considering also keeping it outside for the summer. Then I have this new piece. I bought it in winter on the sale and I still, I, I wore it a few times actually also in winter. I was wearing it with the black turtleneck that you saw in my all of my uh, knitwear video. And definitely, it's definitely going to my wardrobe and I'm going to be wearing it much more now and or maybe when it will get even warmer because you can wear it also as a piece on its own like a shirt uh, then i have a few skirts uh, last time you haven't seen this one because it was at the dry cleaners because i accidentally painted something on it with a pen uh, it's a lovely skirt it's like a very big statement so it's very yellow and very poofy and it's kind of like actually this together looks very nice i might consider it uh, anyways, I'm very excited to wear it right now because I didn't really wear it in winter and uh, because I feel like it's kind of, it, it will look a little bit weird with black tie. Now I'm really excited to wear it again. I have this skirt from Uniqlo uh, that you saw in my Uniqlo video. Um, I'm going to keep it for now because I kind of can, I can kind of wear it until the early summer. It's not that heavy and it's uh, quite breathable. I have this skirt that you also saw before, it needs to be washed because it has some uh, weird stains on it, uh, but overall, well, it, it looks bright, <laughs> but overall, yes, I'm going to keep it and I'm going to wear it also in the summer, but it needs to be washed. This faux leather skirt I was wearing all through the winter, it's lovely, I'm going to keep it for the next year, I definitely forgot to hide it when I was hiding my sweaters. And this is why we're making this video, so yeah. So it's going into storage until next year. This is the skirt from H&M. Uh, many people have this ones because they're from the basic line. Uh, honestly, I haven't worn it in like two years. So this one is going to be donated and I hope that the next owner will love it much more than I do lately. Here I have a newer piece for me. This was a hand-me-down from my friend Rosina. Thank you very much. It's um, a jumpsuit. It might be looking black on the camera, but it's actually, it's uh, purple. And it's beautiful. It's one shoulder jumpsuit with the belt. And I'm really excited to be wearing it this summer. So it's definitely going into my wardrobe. This is not actually how I like to keep my clothes. Uh, these are three pairs of pants, I believe. The first one, are these like very skinny black simple pants from Zara that again many people have. I wear them for work and I think that I could kind of, if I was going out of the house, I could have worn them. And I don't know when the quarantine will finish, so for now I'm going to keep it in my wardrobe. And if we will go into like very hot summer and we will still be at home, then I will hide them for the next year. Then I have two pairs of uh, culotte pants. They are both from Zara. These ones are a little bit heavier fabric and these ones are a little bit more appropriate for, let's say, summer. 
uh, maybe not here, but <laughs> for warmer months. For now, I can keep both of them out because um, it's warm, but it's not super warm yet. So yes, both of them are going to go into my wardrobe. This shirt is a hand-me-down actually from my boyfriend and I'm really excited to wear it. He gave it to me in winter because it, it was not fitting him properly. And I'm really excited to be wearing it. Uh, it's, I really like this oversized look of like menswear uh, on girls. So yes, I need to iron it and then I'm going to be very happy to be wearing it into this season. I have a Zara shirt that you saw in my previous video. It's quite oversized on me, especially now, but I really like it and I really like the color. And I was actually considering that if this year they will have this uh, design in this fabric again because it's 100% linen, it's very soft. Uh, I was considering buying a smaller size, but we will see. For now I can definitely wear this one and it looks very, very nice. I really like it. And I also have my Ukrainian shirt. Again, not even going to discuss it. I'm going to be wearing it always. So it's going into my wardrobe. I have these two shirts that you might remember from my previous video. Uh, actually, maybe it was another one. Like I have three long sleeve button up shirts and they kind of all play different roles in my wardrobe so this one is made from viscose it's more like silky and feminine and like very it tucks in very nicely and it gives you this very flowy silhouette and this one is just a very classic button up or button down whatever you call them uh, shirt made from cotton uh, it's very crisp very nice uh, gives you a completely different silhouette to this one and somewhere under this pile i have another one that i took out from the storage and I'm considering maybe donating that one. Uh, I'm going to put that other one in the maybe pile and I will speak about it a little bit when we will reach it. I have this beautiful dress that you might remember from uh, my previous video as well. It's viscose and silk, it's from a Ukrainian brand called Seasons and it's definitely going in the wardrobe. Then I have this dress. It's kind of fancier because it's made of uh, velvet and it's uh, kind of, it's very difficult to see like this. It has a slit down the leg and everything. I'm going to hold on to it definitely because it's beautiful, but I'm going to put it in my suitcase. I think. Then I have this dress. For now it's going here and for summer I'm going to hide it because it's not really summer. It's a little bit thicker material. Then I have this leopard dress and since the last time I spoke to you about it and told you that I wore it once, nothing has changed. Still, I have worn it only once. I have an idea that might help me appreciate this dress a little bit more. I will try to make the sleeves shorter. If this will not help, then I will have to say goodbye to it. Uh, yeah, we will see. Then I have these two dresses and I've got so much wear out of them. Uh, during this winter because uh, they looked amazing with tights and coat and everything. They both are from Ukrainian brands. This one is called Grass. Uh, it doesn't exist anymore. I already spoke about it. This one is called The Lace. I will keep both of them in my wardrobe for now because I can still kind of wear them in this weather. But for summer I'm going to hide them because they both have longer sleeves. Then I have this black dress. It's also kind of more for special occasions, but not only. So I'm going to keep it in my uh, main wardrobe because it's beautiful and it's kind of a little bit more versatile than the red velvet one because that one is amazing, but no, not for now. And then I have this cardigan slash uh, light jumper from Zara that I showed you in all of my knitwear video. And uh, yeah, now it's the time to wear it. So it's going into my wardrobe. Okay, so I finished with the main part. Now I have some things that I took out from the suitcase and I need to organize them a little bit and um, walk you through them also. The first uh, big group of things will be uh, jeans because I have a few pairs of jeans that I was not wearing all a lot in winter for a variety of reasons. For example, these ones, uh, these are like very ripped jeans and I normally wear them in spring and summer. So right now they're going to go into my jean drawer over there. Then I have this pair of, uh, actually these are the fanciest jeans that I ever owned. They were hand-me-downs from my friend. These are jeans from Karen Millen, who I really, I really like her clothes. They're also quite ripped and also for some time they were not fitting me properly. Right now I need to try them on, but I have a feeling that now they will fit me. 
Uh, and I'm really looking forward to wearing them because these are my, one of my favorite pairs. Then I have this pair of darker jeans from Promod. They were also hand-me-downs from one of my colleagues. I need to try them on because they were kind of not fitting me before. I think that now they will. Straight ahead, I have a few things that I need to donate. First of all, it's this uh, yellow shirt from Grass. The problem is that this winter I haven't worn it even once. And I know that like now I look at it in the camera and I love it. I love how it looks. The problem was that every time I was trying to put it on to go to work, uh, I in the end chose something else. There are many reasons for this. First of all, the fabric is kind of not super nice. And even though it says that it's mostly viscose and only 5% polyester, I don't believe it. I think it's much higher content of polyester. And also it's a rough style, as you can see. I really like this style. However, this particular piece doesn't look very well on me. I cannot wear it on its own, so I always need to wear a camisole underneath. And it opens up weirdly when I'm sitting down and it's kind of like, it's not the easiest piece to wear, so I tend to not to wear it. I think I'm going to put it in the pile for our next clothes swap in the office or into the donation pile, we will see. The other piece that I think I'm going to be donating is this sweatshirt with Ukrainian motifs. And again, it looks beautiful on the camera. In reality, it's very uncomfortable and also it feels quite a lot. So I'm, I will try it again together with those jeans and I will think about it, but I, I think I'm going to donate it because I tend not to wear it just because I know that it's not really super comfortable. This is the shirt that I was speaking about, another white shirt. I'm considering putting it in my wardrobe right for now and then maybe evaluate whether I'm wearing it or not. The problem is that I bought it on the sale and it's a little bit big on me and it's supposed to be oversized but I don't think it's really very flattering on my figure. I will see. Again, I will try it. This is going to be my uh, try maybe pile. Then there's this kimono thing. I don't wear it as much as I imagined it I would. Uh, but I'm going to give it another try this year because it's beautiful. I really like how it looks. It's very happy print and I really like these simple outfits when you are just wearing a pair of jeans, a tank top and a little kimono and some veg heels. So I will put it in my wardrobe for now. This is the shirt that I discarded in my previous video and I said that I will put it in the maybe pile and I will see if I will wear it and I didn't. But I was thinking about it quite a lot. And if uh, that other green top that I had in the previous video, with that one, I, don't, I have no doubts that I just need to donate it. However, this one, I want to try again and see how it fits me right now, because again, my body changed a little bit, so I think it might fit me a little bit better now. I have this black shirt with short sleeves. I'm going to take it out, but I can see that there is a hole here and I don't think that I will be able to fix it. I will put it in my man file. I have this shirt again. Again, in my last video, I said that if I will not wear it, I will donate it. And then I wore it, surprisingly. So for now, I'm going to keep it. Okay, and then I have this super red dress. And last time I was telling to you that I wear it in winter and I haven't worn it in winter. And at one point I actually hid it because I knew that I was uh, not that just I haven't worn it, that I'm not going to wear it in winter. It's the same thing that it's with the leopard dress. Okay, leopard dress is probably like just not me. But this one is, I think it's a little bit too loud on me and also it's a little bit suffocating because of the longer sleeves. So I was thinking that I will try to also shorten the sleeves by myself, alter it a little bit and see if I will wear it more because of that. If not, then I will just have to say goodbye to it because it's it's very nice. Again, it's the brand that I love, but if I'm not wearing it, it has no place in my wardrobe. Then I have a few shirts. I think it's maybe a little bit early to take them out, but uh, yeah, it's okay, I think. I can wear them with cardigans and everything. First, it's this pink shirt. Then I have the blue one. You already, like, I, I feel like this video is going to be super boring because you already saw everything. I have just a few new additions here and there, but I haven't bought like a whole lot of new clothes or anything this year. Yeah, this royal blue shirt. I really like the color. I don't like the quality that much, but for now it still looks good. It's going into the wardrobe. I have a black kami. Again, maybe it's a little bit too early to take them out, but here's the thing. 
I think that this is going to be the year when I will finally update my Kami game because I really like to wear them. For me, it's very chic and very beautiful. Um, however, I don't have them in the best uh, fabrics and this year I think it's going to be the year when I will finally invest in the silk ones. So for now they're going into my wardrobe but one in one out, as soon as I will get the black one and white one in silk, these ones are going to go into a new home. Here I have the black shirt, exactly the same one as the blue one. Mm. As I said, it looks a little bit shabby, but not as bad as I thought, so for now I can wear it. I have my white kami. This one was from Promote, which was a very nice brand. Now it's only online, but before when they used to have physical stores, I used to buy many things from them. Um, this one is viscose. It's actually, it's not as bad as the other one because that one is polyester. Then I have a red kami, uh, surprisingly. It's quite a big size. Actually, I bought it last year. I think it might be a little bit big on me this year, but I will see. I need to try it on. But honestly, for kamis, it's not such a big deal. So anyways, I will put it in my wardrobe because I'm pretty sure it's going to fit me. I have this uh, black polka dot dress. It's very small polka dots, if you can see. It's nice, I like it. Uh, I think that I can kind of wear it right now because for actual summer, it's a bit too hot. I bought it in Kiev last year because I really like to look like, you know, Italian movie star from the 50s. Then I have one more dress. It's this one. Um, Interesting thing about this is that uh, I think that this one I will take to a seamstress because I wore it last year quite a lot. Uh, the problem for me is this uh, high neckline because I don't think that it's very flattering on my body. And also the sleeves because they're a little bit too, sh too long for a dress like this. Okay, at this point we're almost finished. I will have a pile of things to try, some things to wash, some things to alter, some things to hide, some things to donate. A uh, few pajamas and things like that that I'm not going to show you. And I have a few blazers that I need to put in my wardrobe. The first one is this black one, very simple one. In a little bit it's going to be perfect to wear it with a t-shirt and a pair of jeans. Then I have this one, it's kind of this like gray and black, quite oversized on me probably right now, but I'm still pretty sure that I can get lots of wear out of it. Then I have this one, which is kind of like the same idea, but it has this ruched up sleeves and it's uh, kind of like beige and black. Uh, again, this one I can wear right now, also with a t-shirt and a pair of jeans. Then I have this uh, little bit sad looking utility jacket. It definitely needs some TLC. I will steam it a little bit later. This is one of the longest living uh, pieces of clothing in my wardrobe. I actually have a very old video about uh, all the pieces that I still have like after four moves across the continent. And this is one of those pieces. I'm not sure that I was featuring it in the video, but anyways, yeah. This is actually from H&M, but I thrifted it in Ukraine very long time ago and it's still going very strong i really like it anyways this one is going into the wardrobe i'm going to organize things a little bit on my uh, bed and i'm going to show you the end result okay my friends now my wardrobe looks much better i will show it to you in a bit i know that this was not a huge declutter and you will see that i only decluttered a few pieces but uh, i think i needed to start with this i actually already decluttered quite a few pieces i was already thinking about this like light sweater weather let's say and I already put three of them aside because they were not bringing me any joy. They were not, uh, they were not something that I really enjoyed wearing for a long time. And I knew about this and I was still keeping them. I don't know why. So I did, just didn't want to bring them back from the donation pile and show them to you because for me, it's already a done deal. I'm already, I already decluttered them. Okay, let me show you the wardrobe progress. This is how it looks right now. 
uh, everything is neat, everything that I can wear right now. I'm very happy about this. Like here on this side, there are two bathrobes and yes, I'm keeping them in my wardrobe and it works for me. So yeah, this is what we're working with. This is the end result. Uh, underneath, I still haven't organized anything. Uh, it's going to be the next step. Okay, so speaking about the progress, this is the pile of things that I need to try on. There is the shirt, the jeans. Um, this is the pile to alter and this actually I haven't shown you but uh, this is a pair of Zara jeans that are just way too big on me like two sizes big <laughs> so I need to make them into shorts and uh, understand how to make the waist fit me in the short form uh, this is something that I need to hide as I told you it's this uh, skirt and the dress it looks very beautiful in life and on camera and these are the things that I'm donating or bringing to a clothes swap so the yellow shirt the black skirt and this top that I spoke about in my previous video so this is it thank you very much for being my company in this decluttering process I'm very happy with my wardrobe right now I feel like all of the things that I have there is something that I can currently wear I can just put on things and go out of the door and I'm very happy about this. So thank you very much for keeping me company. Uh, see you in my next video. Ciao.